Today's video is going to teach you how to read defenses in Madden NFL 16. What's up guys, my name is Cody. What I want to do is I want to talk to you from the subject and we're going to be doing a nice manual here on how to read the defense in Madden NFL 16. This is one of the most important and most overlooked, con uh, overlooked skills and disciplines in the game. I believe that it may be the most overlooked discipline uh, from elite players today as they simply don't read the defense. Reading the defense is something that takes a little bit of time, but in my opinion it makes it that much more ap uh, valuable uh, to you at the end of the day. And today we're going to be doing uh, an introduction. We're going to be talking about different types of coverages we're going to see. And we're going to, for today's uh, defensive uh, uh, that we're going to cover is we're going to show you how to read uh, two high safety coverages. Uh, and what this means, and what this, this whole principle of what we're trying to do here is to give you a basis of what to expect from the defense so that you can counter it with something on the offensive side of the ball. All right, guys. So to do this, we're we're gonna, and you could do this from any play in the series. It, 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 you don't have to use any of the specific play. We're going to be using different playbooks throughout the whole entire series. Um, but what we're going to be doing it today from is we're going to be using the the formation. Uh, um, we're going to be using the formation uh, shotgun, uh, and we're actually going to go ahead and use use the bunch quads. I really like the bunch quads this year. I've been working on some stuff from it, and I want to show. Actually, we're, it's probably not the best to show you. We're going to teach you from the empty tray, or excuse me, the empty chief. This is what one of the uh, more balanced formations, and it's going to hopefully uh, illustrate the point very clearly. We're going to use a play deep, and you don't have to use this play to read this defense. You don't have to do anything. It doesn't matter what play you pick. We're just using this as an example. All right, so on the defensive side of the ball, we're going to go ahead and select a play, and I'm not going to tell you what play we're going to pick. Uh, I want to show you uh, when we hop into the when we hop into the breakdown here. All right, so uh, on the defensive side of the ball, what we see first and foremost, and this is the most important tip I'm ever going to give you in reading coverage, is the key to reading defenses is identifying the safeties. That is the number one key to identifying what type of coverage you're going to get is to read the safeties. What we know here um, is that when we're reading two high safety defenses, it's going to mean that there's two safeties uh, at the top of the screen here. Nate Allen's at the top of the screen here. I'm going to move him around. And then Charlie Woodson is at the top of the screen. These are two high safeties. Okay? An example of a, a situation where the uh, you know team may switch is this. And this changes the look. This is now a one high safety. And you see Charles Woodson has moved down to the bottom of the screen. So now we're going to shift back into the original play that we had called. And you're going to see that it is a two high safety defense. Now, not always, but most likely when you see this defense, it's going to it's going to trigger in your mind a couple of different plays that the defense could possibly be running. Uh, most likely, most defenses, when you see this type of look from the safeties, specifically the safeties, specifically, specifically, specifically the safeties, what you can expect is... Number one, cover two. Uh, number one, cover two. Number two, cover two, sink. And number three, cover two, man. All of those plays start with the phrase cover two. Well, what do you mean by cover two? What I mean by cover two is this. It means that the safeties up the top of the screen are both going to be in deep blue zones. Okay, that's important to understand and realize because in order to in order to attack the defense, we now have access into what two of the players are probably going to be doing post snap and we actually have some more information uh, that we can discuss a little bit later. But what you're going to see here is that it, that's cover to sink and then now I'm going to show you cover to man. You see that they're still in those deep zones and then now I want to show you just standard cover two and you're going to see once again they're still in those deep zones. That's important because it's it's a very it's a commonality. It's something we can see from every cover two in the game. You're going to have safeties that are going to be back backed up and it's going to signify to you that they're probably in a cover two or a cover to sink or a cover to man. Now when they're in that then you can start to tailor your plays to beat that. And so what I like to do when I'm placing when I'm facing the cover two uh, this season is I like to use hitch patterns. I like to use plays like this where um, I'm going to bring Terrence Williams in and I'm going to place him on a hitch pattern. And what you're going to see here, oh, and then I'm also going to take Jason Witten and place him on a streak. And what you're going to see here is against the cover two zone, which is what we're going to start out with. We're going to start out with cover two zone. You're going to see against the cover two zone that I'm able to hit Terrence Williams quick uh, over the middle. And I think I forgot to uh, put Witten on that flat pattern. Um, normally in this ATL deep end, he's on a flat route. So we'll show you here. But he's on that flat route now, so this should work. And what you're going to see is I'm able to hit this underneath route to Terrence Williams in the zone. Okay? So that's the first way that I beat it, as I'm able to beat the zone defense from the cover two shell. Now, what I want to show you is that I'm, I have a route on my, my formation that is out of my play call that is also able to beat the man coverage. And that's this route to 
Cole Beasley. This route to Cole Beasley is going to do a good job at beating man-to-man -man coverage once he gets off the press. Or And I lied, of course. He doesn't beat man coverage naturally. So, naturally, I freaking screwed up. Um, but what you want to do is you want to pick a route that will be able to beat man coverage. So what we'll do here uh, for the example is we'll put Beasley on the hitch now, and Williams is going to be on a nice crossing drag route, which does a nice job of getting separation this year against man. You see that we're going to get a nice separation, able to beat man-to-man -man coverage for about six to seven yards uh, and move the ball upfield. So that is what I'm talking about when we say reading the defense. What it's going to do is going to provide us a foundation for what the defense may be calling. When the defense is in, say, for example, a cover, uh, excuse me, a cover, a cover three. Okay, so something like a cover three. What you're going to see is this play is not going to work as good. This drag route to Williams is not going to be as open as it is in the cover two. They're going to be playing better underneath coverage. And what you're going to see here is I'm going to get getting wrapped up and tackled uh, for only a two-yard gain instead of a six-yard gain. That's why it's important to dissect the coverage and at least have a foundation. And so today's video, what, we're, what we taught you is how to read when the defense has two high safeties and some of the things that that may mean. Um, but that's just scratching the surface. This is just a, uh, this is just one video in a long series of videos that we're getting ready to embark on that are going to teach you the ins and outs of reading the defense in Madden NFL 16. So I can't wait to get, spend more time with you in this series and, uh, and really kind of focus in on what routes beat what and also how to identify those coverages based off the look the defense gives you. Today, we, today a quick uh, recap of what we discussed was we talked all about two high safeties. How to identify two high safeties when those two safeties are up top, up deep. This signifies that they're probably going to be in deep blue zones, which is going to allow us to work underneath patterns because the safeties are not going to be coming down near the box. They're rather going to be going up top, and what it's going to allow us to do is work some quick underneath routes, some quick crossing patterns, such as drags, ends, hitch routes, and things like that to work the underneath of the defense uh, to really take advantage of those safeties going deep. So, that is what we wanted to talk about today. I hope you guys really enjoyed this video. What I'd like you to do for me if you enjoyed this video and you would like to get a little bit more insight into how to play offense, specifically in Madden NFL 16, I would recommend you checking the description. We have our full Arizona offensive ebook um, that you can purchase below. It's not very expensive at all and in my opinion it's one of the best deals this year that you're going to find. I think it has such great plays and uh, pretty good play breakdowns. It's my offense that I personally really enjoy running this year. Uh, like I said, Arizona Offensive Playbook, we break it down uh, below and give you some really good plays to beat man-to-man, -to, -man, to beat the blitz, to beat zone. You're going to have a really easy time moving the ball offensively. And now with this reading the defense series that we're about to start, it's going to be a great foundation for you for your offensive game this year. So thanks so much for watching, guys. And like I said, we're going to be bringing you more videos like this on a weekly basis to talk about how to specifically read the defense in Madden NFL 16. We also have all of our other content available on YouTube. You can check that out for free. You can subscribe to our YouTube channel and get more Madden 16 updates. We do free blitzes. We do free schemes. We do all those things for you to help you get better at Madden NFL 16. So be sure to be on the lookout for some more videos from us. Thank you so much for your time and I hope